So welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here, and today we'll be doing another Python tutorial. We'll be doing a video on how to make a password generator. So going now, from now on, we're going to be using PyCharm instead of Sublime because PyCharm is an IE and you can like, it can debug easier. Like if you ever to make a mistake, it would find the mistake. And inside Sublime, you cannot find, it would be harder to debug. So yeah, so from last time, remember when I misspelled a word and it wouldn't work well in PyCharm, it would autocomplete the word and then so it's pretty much impossible to make a mistake in your spelling and we'll be making more scratch tutorials we just decided to do some python tutorials because we haven't done them in a long time and we'll do, be doing something for 10,000 subscribers soon so thank you guys for all your support on subscribing to your channel so without further ado let's start on the video so open up your PyCharm by double clicking on the app and then we're going to create a new project we're going to start off by renaming the project to random password generator. It's a random password generator. We're going to create the project. So it's going to create the environment. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, so now it's done. Okay, so so now we're inside our PyCharm. So to like get the scripts and stuff so we can type, we're going to uh, expand this. And then we're going to right click on here and we're going to click the new and then we're going to do python file so right click on the random password generator thing and then to get the python file and we're going to rename this python file we're going to name it random password generator uh, random password generator and then python file click ok and then now we can type in all the scripts and it's right here so this is basically the project uh, the folder and then this is the file inside the folder so this is like the random password generator you don't have to name it the same thing but I just have it the same name it doesn't matter okay so now let's start getting into the code so first we're going to import two libraries so import so import see it already auto completes for you import random and then we'll go down one line and import string so as you can see, it's kind of grayed out right now is because we haven't used these libraries yet. So once we use them, it will not be grayed out. So don't worry about that. Okay. And then next, we are going to be defining uh, the, length, uh, the function. We're going to name it random password. So we're going to define random underscore password. Define random underscore password length. And then we're going to do the input. So I'm going to show you exactly what this means after. So put colon so this is like a like a function and then you put anything down here so we're going to define four variables so the first one's going to be lowers so these are all the lowercase letters so i will show you exactly what this code means after i finish typing this part so we're going to put string string oops we spelled it string dot ascii a s c i i and then as you can see already um Auto completes for you, so I want lowercase. So you just go down and then we'll auto complete. And the next one, I'm gonna do uppers, uppercase. So uppers will be equal to string dot ASCII, and then uppercase. You see, auto complete again. And then numbers, we'll do nums is equal to string dot digits. See, auto complete. And then finally, we have the symbols is equal to the string dot punctuation so okay so i'm gonna print all these and show you what each of them mean so basically the first one lowers is printing out all the lowercase letters from a to z and uppers is printing out all the uppercase letters and from a to z and then the numbers are all the numbers and then the symbols are basically all the punctuation marks all the different symbols okay so we still have to be inside here so I'm just going to go down two lines and then I'm going to print and then we can instead of just calling this entire thing we can just call the variable so we're just going to copy paste it into here so print the lower pieces print uppers and then we're going to print uh, print the nums and finally we're going to print the symbols okay so to run a project remember you click the run and then uh, also, my bad, we forgot to call the function. So, like, you have to call the function, like, in Scratch, you know how you have the custom blocks? You have to call the function. 
Okay, so like since we have to like call the function, so down here we're gonna call the function. So we are going to do the random underscore password. We have it right there. And then inside here we're just gonna put 10 for now. So that's how long the length of the password will be. So to we're gonna just control S, save, and then run. Run. So we're just gonna run it right here, and then as you can see, it prints out everything. So A B C D, all the letters from lowercase, all the uppercase letters, all the numbers, and all of the possible symbols. So that's exactly what we need. So that's that's basically what all of this means. So I'm just gonna comment all of this out um, because we do not need this anymore. So. And there we go. Okay, so instead of putting a hashtag in each one or a pound symbol, you can actually do this. So we're just gonna do let's highlight all of this. All you all you have to do is just control slash and you can uncomment and comment and stuff. So that's pretty much it. Oops, I accidentally deleted. So that's how you comment and uncomment stuff. That's just a shortcut. Okay, so after that, we want to let's delete this part. And then after that, we want to go back in here. So use we need to be inside the function, so we have to use a tab. So we're gonna do use oops, caps lock. Use all underscore characters. So this is like combining everything to make a password. We're going to make it equal to lowers, and then we're going to plus the uppers, and then plus the numbers, and then also plus the symbols. So we're going to add all of them. And then under that, we're going to print use all characters. So we're going to print the variable use all characters. Okay. Okay, so now we have to call the function again. I might have deleted it, so let's call the function. Um, we're gonna do we're gonna do the random underscore password, and then we're gonna do the length inside. We're gonna do the ten for now. Okay, so I'll run the thing for you. So run. Okay, so inside the run, as you can see, it puts them all into a single row, all of the different characters into a single row. So that's what this part does. You add all the lowercase, all the uppercase, all the numbers, and all the symbols together, and you print them all to in one line, OK? So that's what we have to do there. OK, so next we're going to make a temporary variable. So we're going to do, going to name it temp, and then make it equal to random dot sample. So this is basically you're combining all the different characters. You're going to pick random characters. From the lowercase letters, uppercase letters, numbers, and symbols, you're going to make it all together to make a random password. So inside here, we're going to put parentheses, use all characters, autocomplete, comma, and then we're going to do length underscore inputs, like that. And then next, we're going to print temp. Okay, so there we have it. Let's run the project. So let's click the run button. So we're going to run the password generator. So you can see it's in an array now. So it picks some random letters, W3, uh, comma, I mean, not, yeah, comma, Y, T, I, and. So we don't want it like that, right? So we're going to put a script down here so it won't have like this. It doesn't look good, and you can't really see what the password is. So we can run it again, So and it'll give us a different array this time. So as you can see, the array is totally different. So it will just keep on generating random passwords, but we don't want it in this format, so we're going to add some code so it won't be like that. So let's, we're here. We're going to do... We're gonna, so basically, it's going to join the array for characters into a string. So we're going to make a variable named password. Password is equal. So basically, this is like the join function from uh, scratch. So here we have password. So this is, like I said, this is basically like the join function. 
So here we have the commas, and then we're going to do dot join, and then we're going to get the temporary variable into here. So temporary is going to be like combining everything. So we have the password and equals to this. So this is like the join function. And then down, we're going to go down one more. And then we're going to return password. password. OK, so okay, so I just put these just to show you guys how it works. So now we can just comment them out. And then next, we are going to be doing like the returning the password and then printing the return password. So we're going to go down two lines. And then we're going to write return password. So let's move this one a few lines down, actually. And so return uh, password underscore password is equal to random random password it's random password underscore password here auto finish and then inside the parentheses we're just going to put 10 for now but later we'll be doing another variable and we'll substitute in there so we do we'll just put 10 for there for now and then under there, we'll do print, and then we'll do the return password. Okay, there we go. And this thing, we do not need it anymore because we have it right here. So the return password is basically the random password, and just print that. So that's the variable, make it to equal to that one, and then you print it. Okay, so now let's run it. So you see, we have our password right here. It has 10 characters. So you see we have 10 right here. What we want to do is make it so the player or the user can put how much ever, uh, how much characters they want in their password. So instead of 10 right here, we're going to, above here, we're going to make a new variable. So we're going to make it length is equal to, and then we're going to do the int input, uh, and then we're going to put another parentheses. And then inside here, we're going to put a message. Welcome to password generator. How about that? Generator. And then please, you guys can put whatever you want here. Please enter a length. Oops, got a space. For the password. And what we're going to do instead of putting the period, we're going to put like a little uh, less than symbol. So we're going to show, or greater than symbol, so that we can show them where to type. Like a little arrow. So it's going to be like that. So there you go. We have that. We can add a space in between here to make it look better. And so that's pretty much it for this project. Um, and right here, instead of 10, we're going to have to substitute the length in here. So however the long the person wants to put it, it will be in here. So length. OK, so that's pretty much it for the project. So let's run the project. So as you can see, it says, welcome to password generator. Please enter a length for the password. So Let's say I'll put like three, okay? Three, enter, and then it'll put a three character password. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. And what if I want a 12 character password? How about that? Then it has a 12 character password right there. So let's say you don't want to use make your own password, you could just use a script. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Yeah. So password generator, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the notification bell as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.